Welcome to season two of Crowd Surfing, and we're just in time for some holiday shopping. Yes, Christmas is just around the corner, and it is crunch time for all those last minute holiday shoppers. We're here at Super Target about to get in on the action. We've got our water, we've got our cart. Let's go surfing. Uh, so you're here last minute. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm crazy to be out here today, and this is the last stop I'm making. Oh, did you not plan properly, or do you just enjoy going into the madness? I don't think I plan properly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Stephen here is working away. Sorry to interrupt, but I have to ask you, what do you think of all these last minute shoppers? Uh, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's very busy. Uh, you know, I procrastinate too, so I understand why everyone's out shopping today. You're like, I feel you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Chris, probably one of the fullest carts we've seen. Very How's full. the shopping coming? Almost done. Um, what, what do you have left? Uh, some stocking stuffers, and that's it. Those are sometimes the hardest things, but you can get any knickknacks. Are you going to put some TP in the yeah, old say, stockings? You know what, if you're buying for me, you're hitting the right aisles here, right? Okay? <laughs> What is the hottest item right now? Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, you know, video games have been selling huge. Uh, DS has been very popular as well as all the other systems. So we've been selling a lot of video games this week. I found something every man needs. I can't believe they actually make these for men. Okay, exhibit A. You help me pick out which is best for Mark. Exhibit B, the Iron Man. Mm-hmm, those are nice and snug. Or exhibit C. Batman, a little more coverage, nice and tight. I mean, he can like wear these when he works out and stuff. I think I found the perfect thing for Mark for Christmas. Shh, check it out. Okay, now I've been thinking about McKinsey and you know, she likes pink and I don't know. What do you think? This is like a, a piggy bank. I know she likes money. Okay, now we're gonna play a little game. Okay, it's called Who Gets It? So people in your life, I'm gonna name a gift. You tell me who gets it, all right? Okay. Okay, so an iPad. My husband. Who gets the lump of coal in their stock? <laughs> My kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the lump of coal in the stocking this year? Yeah, she'll, she'll get that. She'll get <laughs> After the comment about the dead pet. Yeah, now I'm worried about that, yeah. Who gets the vacuum cleaner? Uh, my wife. <laughs> wow, gym membership and a vacuum cleaner. Thanks, honey. All right, now what about a Hoosier TV t-shirt? Everybody should get one. Everybody should get one. The uh, Hoosier TV t-shirt. <laughs> right. That's it. That's a, it's a oh, gift that just keeps on giving, man. You can wear it all year long. Nice. Can you think back to like the worst gift you've ever received? Oh, yeah, I can. It was uh, a couple years ago. It was a sweater, and um, it lighted up. Like, I had like Christmas tree and stuff <laughs> on it, and like lit up and everything. What's like? Have you ever gotten a bad gift ever? Yes. What was it? Ponytail holders. I got a sweatshirt with cats on it once. I don't even like cats. Socks. For about five years in a row, I got socks every year from my grandma. If you guys got a terrible gift, say a Jingle Bell necklace we were just looking at, could you give me a reaction like your, oh, thanks, just into the camera? Oh, that's a gift. <laughs> that is a thought. Oh, socks. Thanks. I need those. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> 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 